Hi, welcome to another edition of Urban S Living. I'm your host, Chef Tish Cancel, and today we have a very sweet show in store for you. Stay tuned. Gaining weight was easy. All I had to do was sit down and eat. Losing weight's a lot harder. I have to work at it every day. But with every step, I lower my risk for type 2 diabetes and heart disease. And that makes every step, every choice, every day. Very much worth the effort. Learn how you can help stop diabetes by losing weight, eating healthy, and staying active. Visit CheckUpAmerica.org or call 1-800-DIABETES. Hi, welcome back to Urban Essex Living. I'm Tish Tansel, and like I said, today's a very sweet show because what we're going to do is to make some inexpensive, homemade, romantic gifts for this upcoming romantic season. You have weddings, you have bridal showers, you have birthday parties, and you want to give a gift with a little bit more of a, a heart theme to it. And so, what I'm going to show you to do today is how to make your own cookies in a basket. And our theme is love and romance. And so this is a two-part series. First part, I'm going to show you how to make the cookies on a stick. And the second part, I'm going to show you how to decorate the cookies on a stick for your special occasion. Now what you're going to need today, first of all, is your heart-shaped molds. Now these are special heart shaped molds for cookies on a stick. You can actually do cut out cookies the same way but I love the way these turn out. You can actually buy these in your favorite craft store. Get the coupon is my tip because you can actually save 50% on molds such as this. So you're going to need the mold. You're going to need the sticks and you can actually get these sticks at the same place that you get the molds and this is what we're going to be um, sticking into the cookies as we bake them. So, like I said, this is a quick and simple recipe. You're not doing the whole thing from scratch. You can just come home, make this up, pop it into the oven, and you're good to go. So, a basic cookie box recipe is perfect. We are actually going to be doing uh, a little bit of a swirl. So we're going to have some cookies that are plain sugar cookies, and we are going to have some chocolate cookies and some cookies that have a little bit of chocolate and vanilla for people who kind of like a mix in their things. So, these cake mixers require one egg and one stick of butter. Now, instead of using butter, I like to use a natural oil. Uh, you can use butter. You can actually use coconut oil. You can use whatever you like. If you want to add butter, you can melt it down. Uh, in liquid form. We're not going to use a mixer today because like I said this is a quick and easy recipe. You can do this with a mixer just as easy by hand and actually a lot quicker and your cleanup is a lot easier. So we're going to get things going. First you need your package of cookie mix and um, a bowl. So we're just going to put the cookie mix here in the bowl like I said, this is a very quick and simple recipe, but no one's going to be able to tell that this recipe is not homemade because we're going to do a couple of things that give it a fresh homemade taste. Okay, so we're going to add our oil and uh, one stick of butter actually equals eight tablespoons of oil. So you can actually measure that out and you're just going to uh, stir that and we have one whole egg and we're just adding the egg to the oil mixture and you're just going to stir that until everything mixes in. Now I told you that I was going to show you how to do something that was going to make these cookies kind of have that homemade taste. Just a couple of drops of vanilla extract and that makes your cookies taste very fresh. So we're just going to stir this until the cookie dough sticks together and it really doesn't take that long and that's the beauty of when you do it from a box mix because you really don't have to worry about whipping the flour um, and the egg and the sugar and getting it to the right consistency. 
You have companies that have spent millions of dollars making instant cookie mixes that actually work very well. So as you can see, this comes together very quickly. And I'm wearing black today. And as you can see, I don't have anything on my clothes. So you really don't have to do a whole lot. I mean, you can actually do this. Say if your, your children come home and they need some cookies for school tomorrow. This is a great way to do it. A lot of moms don't have time to sit around and make cookie dough. And so this actually took us less than five minutes from start to finish. You open up the container. You stir your cookies. And voila, they're done. Okay, so I'm going to actually mix up a box of the chocolate mix as well. So, see you back here in about one minute. Welcome back. Okay, like I said, this is a very quick and easy recipe. So I wanted to add a little bit of individuality to our product. And so I added some chocolate chips to our mix. And basically these are just chocolate chips that I just poured in. About a half a cup. If you really like a lot, pour a cup of chocolate chips into your mix. And then the next thing we're going to do is put the cookies into the mold. Now, if you read the instructions on the box, it says you really do not have to grease your sheet pans. But because we are doing a molded cookie and we want them to turn out perfectly and we don't want them to break, we are going to spray some non-stick spray into these molds. And just make sure you get all of the crevices. And so I have about three molds because we're going to be doing three types of cookies. We have our chocolate chip, and then we have our plain chocolate, and then we're going to have a chocolate and vanilla swirl. And so basically the first thing you need to do, if you like, actually you can spray your hands. Sometimes I like to spray the nonstick spray on my hands because that way the cookie dough doesn't get stuck to my hands. Or else you can just use a portion scoop. And so uh, either way, whichever you prefer, do the same. And the benefit of using the scoop is that each cookie comes out consistent. And each cookie will bake at the same rate. So you really don't have a cookie that's twice as large as the other one. You have cookies that all will bake at um, 8 to 10 minutes. They'll come out nice and golden. And... You don't have to worry about some cookies coming out a little bit more done than others. Okay, so you do the same thing with your chocolate cookies. These are going to be really big cookies. These are gift cookies. We don't want uh, our, our gifts to look small and uh, like we're being stingy. So we're going to make these cookies nice and big and lush. And so when people see your gift basket, they're going to be impressed and they're going to ooh and ah at how beautiful your cookies are. You want to know a great way to save money? Let DT Energy recycle your old working refrigerator in your garage or basement. You could save up to $150 on your energy costs and we'll come take it away and recycle it for free. Then, we'll mail you a check for $40. So turn that old fridge into money. Call today or visit dteenergy.com slash recycle. DTE Energy, know your own power. Hi, welcome back. And as you can see, I've already got the chocolate cookies in the molds ready to go, except for the sticks. And I have the chocolate chip cookies already ready to go. What I wanted to show you is how to do the other cookies. Now these are going to be simple black and white cookies. 
And so basically what we're going to do is basically kind of even out the mixture that we have left over. And we're just going to divide everything. Actually what I'm going to do is get a, a bowl scraper. And these are about 25 cents in the bakery store. Um, it makes it a little bit easier to cut things. You don't have to um, pick with it with your hands. This is what the professionals use. It's actually great for scraping out bowls so that you don't have anything left over. And they're great for cutting. They're great for scraping. You might want to pick up a few because they actually are very handy in your kitchen. They're a little bit better than a spatula because you can get around the entire bowl as opposed to just a specific area. And they help to keep your surface clean. So we're just going to cut. We have four cookies left. So what I like to do actually when I am portioning out dough is to initially cut them in half and cut those halves in halves as well. So we are using our heart shaped molds. So we're just going to press them into the molds. And that's going to give us our black and white cookies. Simple as that. They're going to love these cookies and they're going to look very impressive in your gift basket. Okay, so now that we have our cookies sectioned off, we just simply stick the stick in the cookie mold. And so sticking the stick in the mold is not a very difficult thing to do. Basically, you're just taking it. I like to stick it over halfway because that gives the cookie a little bit more stability. And you're just going to press it in and kind of ease some cookie dough around that stick. And so as they cook, it's going to actually cook into the stick. And when you prop your cookie up in your basket or in your tin or however it is you are going to decorate the cookie, you're going to make sure that it's not going to crack off or fall off. And that's what it looks like when you have your sticks and your cookies. So I'm just going to do the rest of the cookies and then we're going to set these in the oven. Okay, so I finished up putting the sticks in all of our cookies. So we have four big chocolate cookies. We have four big chocolate chip cookies. And we have four big black and white cookies. And so these are going to look fantastic. So now we're going to bake off these. And the cookies bake in about eight to 10 minutes. We are going to put them in a 350 degree oven because we want to make sure that the cookies cook all the way through. If these cookies are a little bit soft on the inside by that stick, they are not going to hold up correctly when you place them in the basket. So we want to make sure that these cookies are cooked the entire way through. So let's put these cookies in our oven. And one tip that I actually have for these is you don't put these directly on your oven rack because it's going to be kind of difficult to take them off. What I do is take a sheet tray and turn it upside down. And I already have the sheet trays in the oven heating up because one problem that you have when you use a sheet tray is that the tray itself has to warm up. And so if the tray is already warm, you don't have to worry about the, the heat level in your cookie uh, trying to catch up basically to what's in the oven. The oven is already warmed up to 350 degrees. The sheet trays that I'm going to place these on are already warmed up to 350 degrees. So when we place the cookies in here, the only thing that we have to worry about are our cookies getting cooked to a consistent temperature. And so we're going to put these in the oven right now. What you also want to do is make sure you leave room for these sticks because a lot of times you might want to place more cookies on a rack than what you think you can do. 
Um, these sticks will kind of get in the way and when they bake, if they bake crooked, you're going to have a crooked cookie. Okay, so in 10 minutes we are going to take those cookies out of the oven and we are going to let them cool and uh, stay tuned. Healthful eating doesn't mean you have to abandon your culture and your love for flavor. Learn new ways to prepare savory meals to keep your family healthy. If you or someone in your family has diabetes, or if you fear they might be at risk for developing diabetes, talk to your healthcare professional today. To request your free copy of the American Diabetes Association's Latin Flavor in the Kitchen Recipe Sampler, and to receive a free guide on type 2 diabetes, call 1-800-DIABETES. Again, 1-800-DIABETES. Okay, welcome back to Urbanesque Living and we are finishing off our cookies on a stick that we are going to be using to make our baskets. If you're wondering what these are on my hands, these are actually pot holders. This is a different time. These type, these aren't your grandma's pot holders. You know, she used to have the kind that were made out of material or the kind that you made in kindergarten and you gave your grandma. You crocheted it or you wove together pieces of material and you made a pot holder for your grandmother. This is new. These are actually silicone pot holders. They look like lobster claws, but they're actually really great because they cover your hand. You can pick up hot things. You can actually stir your pot, pick them up. They have little ridges on the inside. These are very urban-esque. I really like them, not just because they match my kitchen, but because they are very handy. And they actually hang over your, um, your oven handle. And so that way you always know where they are. Very easy to clean if you get something on them. They don't warp, they don't mildew. So I would recommend you picking up some of these if you actually, you know, do a lot of baking and that way you don't burn your hands. Okay, so let's take our cookies out of the oven now. Okay, those are our chocolate chip cookies and those are already done and I'm going to take the rest of these out and when we come back, I'm going to show you how we're going to decorate our cookies on a stick for our beautiful presentation. Mom, can we get some ice cream? Please, Mom, please. No, we're having dinner please. soon. Please. You don't have to be perfect to be a perfect parent. There are thousands of children in foster care who will take you just as you are. Hi, welcome back to Urban S Living. Now while you were gone, I took the cookies out of the cookie molds. I did lose one cookie and kind of damaged a few others, but we are going to do some damage control and decorating the next time that I see you. And so what we're gonna be using are these little plastic molds that are heart shaped to go with our heart theme. And we're going to be filling them with some bark. And not tree bark, this, this is a, a culinary bark that you use for decorating and for coating different items. So stay tuned on the next show and I'm going to show you how we are going to decorate our cookies on a stick to make them fabulous for that basket that you're going to be giving someone special. Have a good day.